Hi everybody. 2023 Mazda CX-9. What's new? Base level sport trim level is discontinued. Touring premium package is no longer available. Part of the second CX-9 generation introduced for 2016. The Mazda CX-9 of 2023 is a three-row midsize SUV that is currently the largest SUV in the automaker's lineup. It sits above the Mazda CX-50, which was just introduced. In addition, it has benefited greatly from upgrades over the past few years, including standard all-wheel drive and an upgraded infotainment system. The Kia Telluride, Hyundai Palisade, Honda Pilot, and Volkswagen Atlas are among our top picks. The new Mazda CX-50 looks and feels a little bit more modern than the old CX-9 if you don't need a third row. In many ways, including how it drives, the Mazda CX-9 has the impression of being a smaller mid-size SUV. On a winding road, it's a little more athletic than its rivals, has a confident brake response, and it's easy to maneuver in smaller spaces. The all-wheel drive system is designed primarily for adverse road conditions, but it can handle weekend excursions known as soft roading. For a three-row mid-size SUV, accelerating to 60 miles per hour takes 7.6 seconds, and the transmission shifts smoothly, making daily driving a breeze. The CX-9 has well-sculpted front seats inside that provide a lot of support, However, the third row is small and not as comfortable as the back rows of many competitors. However, the cabin is impressively quiet for its luxury level. The climate control in our test vehicle is simple to use, but if you have polar bear blood coursing through your veins, it might not blow cold enough. Rear passengers have access to climate controls for their area, and the heated and ventilated front seats work well. Find CX-9 deals near you. The primary controls are simple to reach and operate. Due to the CX-9's thicker pillars and smaller than average rear window, visibility isn't quite as good as it could be in other SUVs. The loud and clear sound provided by the Bose stereo system can be purchased separately. Smartphones are simple to peer and quickly recognize when powered on. Advanced driver assistance features like adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assistance are standard on all CX-9S. False alarms are uncommon because they are well tuned to deal with heavy traffic. When dealing with a lot of traffic, adaptive cruise control and lane keeping are effective. Although the 14.4 cubic feet behind the third row may be sufficient for many customers, the class leading Kia Telluride has 21 cubic feet. The CX-9's maximum cargo capacity is 71.2 cubic feet, while the Telluride's is 87 cubic feet. The CX-9's thoughtful interior design makes it simple to live with, and there should be enough room for growing families to store everything. With the captain's chairs in the second row, installing car seats is simple. Fuel economy we were able to mostly meet those goals for fuel economy, but if you're not careful, it can be easy to miss them. When it comes to build quality, the CX-9 definitely ranks high, especially in the top signature trim. 
the Mazda justifies its higher price tag by including more standard features, despite the fact that entry-level models typically cost more than their competitors. Due to the exquisite materials, uniform gaps, and clean, elegant design, the interior closely resembles a luxury class cabin. It is priced fairly competitively at the top end. In the three-row midsize SUV category, the Mazda CX-9 signature stands out primarily due to its striking design and relatively engaging driving experience. Which CX-9 is suggested? The Mazda CX-9 has always been a little bit more expensive than its rivals, but the more features that come standard make up for the difference. We really like this basic model because it has a lot of standard content. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.